In our interview series, we want to show examples of how digitalization and sustainability intersect, ranging from sustainable agriculture to tourism to sports for education and against poverty. In Belém, in the north of Brazil, I'm meeting Paulo Eich. I want to learn more about his work for Manioca, a food company. We talk about biodiversity, regional suppliers, and the fruits of the Amazon. Manioca is a food industry. We are sited in Belém City, in the corner of the Brazilian Amazon region. We are specialized in using our biodiversity to uh, manufacture food stuff like sauces, food ingredients, jams and granulas and so on. So we believe uh, supporting the biodiversity use, we can tell people from all over the world the importance of our biodiversity in forests, and especially to connect those people and customers to the people we have here within the forest, just supplying the ingredients uh, we have been valuing, uh, uh, like the ones we have in the Amazon biodiversity. We have basically been using systems uh, on, on especially connection systems that can make us able to connect to all of the world, uh, especially to customers, especially to suppliers from all of the world. And we have been also applying food technology to industrialize the stuff we have on our biodiversity, the ones we source to our manufacturing. And we want to transform it uh, in food stuff that people uh, give value and include on their, on their daily habits. Uh, so we have been using basically fermentation process, our food technology process like concentrations, uh, so we can better apply the ingredients we have on, on our biodiversity in the Amazon region. Uh, we basically understand that sustainability in the Amazon region starts by people who live here. So we are used to say that the forest maintenance is kind of a consequence but not a cause, a cause to us. We have people who live here and those people need to have a good way of living. So they need to have sewage, they need to have education, security, it serves all of the world wants to have and uh, is not different with those. So we believe that the biodiversity and the forest preservation especially connect to that. When we use this, which is something uh, we have from our origins, to uh, kind of right or pathway to development. So once we have the culture we have, the biodiversity we have, uh, connected to the development initiatives, we believe it can support the people who live here, and then we can support it, can make uh, our place sustainable, because people who live here have already been uh, connected sustainably with the forest we have. Actually, by the way, we have been uh, built in the forest, right? Uh, we are used to understand this forest has been always there, but actually it was basically a forest built by people who are used to live in the Amazon region. Mm -hmm.